Um, so I decided to take time off from making my crappy half-baked um, drumming videos to show you these. Um, these are my new Sennheiser HD 555s. Um, I was really lucky I managed to get a couple of extra ships that worked to pay for these, so I'm really actually happy. Um, I have to say I'm kind of underwhelmed by the sound quality. I've heard a lot of good things about them, but just, yeah, the bass on these really isn't that good. It's kind of hard for me to say because I am trying to upgrade from these ones, which are the Sennheiser 212 Pros, and these are like the first pair I had from the conventional earbud type headphones and like remember being really blown away by the sound of these but really if you're moving to either one from the conventional headphones you're going to notice a lot of difference because yeah the sound on those is an absolute joke compared to these um firstly um out of the ipod definitely this one's better because on the ipod you can't actually control the um the equal like you can choose the different pre-settings they have there, like, you know, bass booster or rock or jazz or whatever, but you can't control the individual, like, frequencies, which is why, like, if you use these on a computer where you do have control over each of the frequencies, it's really quite good because if the bass is lacking, you can kind of bump that up a little bit in the lower frequencies and make it sound really good. So, I mean, on the computer, these are excellent. Um, another reason why you probably wouldn't want to use these on an iPod. I mean, they're a bit bulky. If I wore these on a bus, people would look at me like I was a complete douchebag. But also there's this huge, because it has the amplifier, you have to carry around this huge amplifier plug and this honk load of cord. It's a lot. You can probably get MP3 players that weigh less than this amount of crap you have to carry around. So I mean, yeah, probably not great for the iPod. Um, also because they're open, like sound not only gets out, but it gets in as well, so using it on a bus is, again, kind of useless. Um, but on a computer, they are excellent, because as I said before, if you muck around with the equaliser, you can make them sound really good. A lot of people say that um, the sound on these depends a lot on burn-in, so the longer you use them, you know, they sound better. But then, like a lot of other people say, that's just a placebo effect as well, so I have to wait and see about that one. Um, yeah, as far as the bass goes, the bass on these, I mean, this is closed pair of headphones, this is open, so it's like comparing apples and oranges, but the bass on these is, there's a lot, like, higher impact, it's far more punchy, you can actually, like, if you turn it up loud enough, you can actually feel the physical sensation of bass pumping into your ear, and it's, it's really nice. This one, you get a whole, like, a more deep, full sound, so it feels like the music's, like, right around your head. It, the bass is kind of diffused though, I guess that's maybe a sacrifice you have to make, but the higher frequencies are really nice. So I mean the guitars, like just your music, they come out a whole lot nicer. Also, um, when I'm drumming, when I use these, the sound's really nice. It actually sounds like an actual drum kit. So I guess if you're listening to, if you're going to use these to watch movies or classical music or live recordings, you know, Things where it depends a lot on atmosphere or the location of things relative to where you might be sitting. This is far more realistic sounding. Um, yeah, but I actually bought these to listen to music. So between these two, I mean, they're quite, kind of equivalent. These I bought for, they retail at JB Hi-Fi for uh, 220 about $220. Um, the 515s, which is the model below this, go for about 170 to 180 And these ones I bought like a year ago and they were 115 then. Um, Price-wise, like I listened to both the 515 and these ones here. The bass on them, like he, the guy played some crappy Barry White song for me to hear. The bass is kind of equivalent from what I can tell, but... In the high frequencies, these are definitely a lot nicer and clearer. So if you're going to pay the extra, like it kind of seems like you're just paying extra for the high frequencies. I mean, these the sound is a lot clearer than the 515s. Um, also, the guy was really good. Like he managed to bring them down to 180. So I really only paid six dollars up from the 515s, which is why yeah, definitely you want to go for these. 
was tossing up between the 555s and the Bose tripods. In terms of base, the Bose ones are probably more equivalent to these, like it's more punchy and it's more in your ear. Um, but they're flimsy as hell. The headband on the Bose is like, it's like that thick and it's held on by these weird screws that kind of seem like it's really easy to break and seeing that I fall asleep in my headphones a lot, probably not such a good idea. Um, comfort wise, I guess comfort really is an issue unless you're forced to something that, to wear something that's ragingly uncomfortable. And I mean, these are really comfortable. They're a bit heavier, but they're still really nice. These ones, I used to think it was just me, like my ears being a little bit bigger or whatever. But these ear cups, they push and they hurt like hell after a while. And then, but seriously, if you look at it, your ears aren't going to fit into these ear cups. Um, unless you don't have any. So, yeah, comfort wise, 555s are a whole lot better. Um, yeah, just to wrap it up, if you're a big fan of bass, and like these are probably better value for money, they're nice closed headphones so you don't have to worry about things outside bothering you. But, like, sound reproduction on this is better. Everything sounds a lot clearer. It's just the bass is a lot more diffuse and it's not as defined. So, I mean, if you really like your drum, music or whatever, yeah, probably these are better because there's a lot more impact with these ones. I don't know, everyone really likes bass, but um, bass isn't everything. <laughs>